Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Honda E. E stands for electrification and this car comes courtesy of Lister's Honda here in Sol Hill, UK. Now straight to the car. It is absolutely unbelievably retro and cool. For starters, it is actually based on the Honda Urban EV concept which was first showcased in 2017. This was actually unveiled in 2019 and sales started in 2020. The design is actually based on the first generation of the Honda Civic from 1972. In fact, that Civic saved Honda from bankruptcy. Straight away we are going to be opening the frunk, but it really doesn't have a frunk because you see there is no storage space here. However, it gets hydraulic struts which is unbelievable and the battery management system is placed all over here which means that there is no storage. Now how do you open this? There is this button you just press it and there it opens. This actually eliminates it says Honda. It eliminates when you are charging the vehicle of course. It does not get a three phase charger which means it doesn't support 22 kilowatt charging. Let's just shut this which means I have to put in some effort and here that is shut. Okay, we also have to shut this. This is so cool. Okay, just press this button and there it opens. Now Honda has actually positioned this in the center so that you can charge from the right, you can charge from the left. Honda did not have to put two charging ports on either side. So that's absolute genius. That's actually made of glass. Now the design is super retro cool. I've actually opened the doors because they are frameless doors which make this car look super cool. Look at the coolness factor. How good is this? Amazing, unbelievable. This car is full of tech. that's the reason why it's able to justify its high price to a certain extent because this is the car with the lowest range in all of uk yeah the range isn't that impressive however honda itself did not want to you know put a bigger battery pack to reduce the weight of the vehicle and not increase the weight but the mini electric actually has a lower weight with a bigger battery pack and better range as well now when you approach the car it actually greets you with the lights doing sort of a dance treatment and this is the key of the vehicle this is to unlock the car this is to lock the car this is for the charging port and this is to turn on the air conditioning typical honda key in terms of design anyways the lights look beautiful everything is all led of course so this is the drl this is the indicator and this is the main light okay fog light is placed right here you get front parking sensors you get a front camera this is for the radar it's got a lot of adas functions or you can call it honda sensing of course What a beautiful looking car. It looks absolutely stunning. There's no two ways about it. The Honda logo has this blue tinge because this is obviously electric and all Honda cars here in the UK actually are electrified. Okay, the other Civics and the CRVs are all getting hybrid powertrain, but this is a pure electric car. In fact, you have got camera here for other ADAS functions. Wipers are so beautiful, dual blade wipers and this is where the chassis number has been put. Now it gets a privacy glass there for the rear windows of course and the length of this car is just 3.9 meters yeah it is very chin to minto now if you have noticed it does not get conventional rear view mirrors there's the indicator it actually gets a camera here yeah that's right it gets a camera system on the side which improves the aero efficiency by 4% and lesser width of the car it also makes it more slippery in terms of coefficient of drag which reduces as well making it more efficient too the door handles actually pop out yeah that's right the door handles pop out how cool is that the ground clearance is 145 mm and this one is running on 16 inch wheels yeah you can also get 17 inch wheels but that reduces the range by 9 km so the range on this one is 219 km that one has a range of 210 km 185 60 16 is the size of the tires alloy wheels is i mean they're not that adventurous either thing is this car will give you sort of the brio vibes and obviously you get a rear disc again it's very sweet the way the rear door handles are hidden again you get frame less doors let me open this now this does not go all the way down that's the maximum it goes to and this also juts out so if you hang your head outside you can hit it there so this could have been better in terms of design but they had to put the door handle somewhere so that's the reason why it is how it is Here you can see there's a door pocket that's about it there are no other door pockets meanwhile it gets a eight speaker system so you can see there's a speaker here it gets an amplifier it also gets a subwoofer and here is a button for the lights it gets spot lights which you can see on the top seats seem very comfortable but they really aren't because under thigh support is a bit of an issue so here i am okay legroom and knee room isn't that great under thigh support is very poor because i'm actually sitting on the electric motor which is right below height adjustable you get the seat belts which are height adjustable at the front 
and look at the color of the seat belts that's kind of cool and different as well this is the button to operate the lights and here you get two usb charging sockets as well well that's about it not much at the rear you get magazine holders and two adjustable headrests as well defogger and all that is obviously given it says side curtain airbag here beautiful led spotlight the dashboard is just next level because this car has got six freaking screens six screens in a honda is unbelievable pinch me am i dreaming or something <laughs> let's get out but before that let me tell you it gets fabric seats everywhere just to go with the electric ethos of not killing animals and using leather but the steering wheel actually uses leather <laughs> oh my god this no space here poor under thigh support so yeah they kind of messed up in terms of the rear seat because the electric motor is placed right below i mean somewhere here the battery is obviously placed in the floor pan like all evs but the battery management system takes away the front space doors open almost 90 degrees so i can't say take that tata ultros because it's not as wide but still hugely wide opening doors in fact honda knows three people will not sit in here because the cabin is not wide enough the center passenger does not get a head does not even get a shoulder because there is no center seat belt either and isofix child seat mounts of course i love the way the coloring has been done okay it gets a sunroof at the front that does not open it's a glass basically which does not open you can see from the top that sunroof just does not open did the door close yeah it did coming to the rear the retro coolness continues in fact if you're not very alert you might for a second think that this is the front or the rear but here in the uk the rear number plate is finished in yellow to tell people which direction the car is going in this is the rear fog light you can see the indicator that is the brake light of course and then you know what it is so freaking cool this car this is where the camera is placed okay i think this is for the reverse light it says honda e e stands for electrification and there is a camera here as well for the inside rear view mirror camera system high mounted stop lamp sort of a spoiler treatment there is the rear wiper washer and yeah where is the washer actually i said rear wiper can i spot the washer i think the washer works from there probably anyways look at the design unbelievably retro cool honda has nailed it out of the park this time rear parking sensors in fact these are reflectors of course and you can see the underbody of the vehicle yeah there is no spare wheel here but there is a towing hook let me open the boot right away which is a very small one 191 liters now because there is no storage space in the front the charging cables are actually placed here which robs away the already small boot and below here there is some storage space but yeah not much as such not very practical car but for light now they have got these spot lights which is very cool indeed i really like it there is a hook here parcel shelf in order to increase the boot carrying capacity i just pull this lever and push the seat down like that yeah now it makes it sort of flat to increase the boot carrying capacity that's about it hard plastics of course let's shut this kind of reminds me of the brio in many ways well it's making this sound right now here let me open the rear door and put this seat back into place wow okay i love the material i love the finishing it's so freaking cool and nice it has a digital remote which basically works with nfc so you have the honda app you just have to maybe tap your phone right here and then it unlocks the car so yeah digital key as well here you can see the door pockets are actually small not that big these are the controls for the power windows one touch up and down for all the windows and here you get the controls for the outside rear view mirrors this is to lock and unlock the vehicle this was the child lock function yeah there's a tweeter here material finish is nice but hard plastics lower down i like this sort of a brown treatment is either bronze or brown i don't know for the seat belt in fact it even says side airbags in a similar color seat seem very comfortable nice that sunroof is decent size not very big there you get a dead pedal of course and then because this is electric there's no transmission going from the center so it's completely flat no three people cannot sit in here don't even try now here you can see this is actually the blind spot system which tells you if there is someone in your blind spot sort of wood treatment there this is the power button which actually is glowing <laughs> and this is to get into the camera system on the you know right side lever let's get inside it's a very practical and super impressive car for starters let me turn off the indicator the glove box is decent size it's not very big as such continuous ac vent treatment which doesn't continue here all the way The steering wheel is adjustable both for reach as well as a rake manual adjustment obviously the seat also gets manual adjustment and there is some storage space here no this is actually to pull close the door okay one screen two three four five and six screens this guy has got six freaking screens okay here you can see this is the 
sunroof i can't call it sunroof i can call it moonroof this does not open the glass just does not open at all here you get a mirror along with a light same is the case here as well you get a mirror along with a light along with the toll receipt holder there's a handle to hold on to for the driver side as well it says side curtain airbag there steering feels super amazing to hold it gets this beautiful leather stitching in fact these are the controls for the audio system these are the controls for the adas functions specifically for cruise control adaptive cruise control lane keep assist and all that this is the heating function for the steering heat because here in the uk it gets very cold depending on your driving position you can actually hit this button while driving which turns on the heating for the seat yeah look at this i am just using my knee to turn it on that it actually shows you in the display when it's turned on as well okay now it's a brilliant car because this is a 6 inch screen 12.3 inch screen 12.3 inch screen 8.8 inch screen and a 6 inch screen so these screens are for the cameras and you get a narrow as well as a wide view for the outside rear view mirror camera system kind of nice and cool and you get used to it it shows you real time feed as well which is fantastic this is a huge screen now the best thing is that i can actually flip things from here to there so let me do one thing let me maybe get into general settings here there's a wifi hotspot as well and here maybe i will get into the ev menu now i have decided that okay uh, oh no 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 it's a little complex it doesn't work all the way because it's like an app that cannot be swapped is running so i just want to what do i do if i want to turn off the apps here okay now press this button now i can close the apps as well and i can browse through the apps like this so basically you can throw things from here to there how freaking cool is this screen only thing is the quality of the screen isn't that great to be very honest it's like okay types it's not very exceptional so here we turn on the ev menu and there i'm just going to turn on the general settings it's loading and now i want to swap yeah i can swap things from here and there which is fantastic there are buttons here these are for the audio controls of course and again nfc button is there get into the home button here so some physical controls are there which is fantastic this is for the self park function <laughs> and there's a button here for the camera system which is actually showing me guidelines on the side camera cameras for the outside rear view mirrors let me use the wiper okay these are the indicators automatic headlights automatic wipers as well let's use the wipers right away wipers work brilliantly well a lot of buttons here for the honda connect functions i believe sos and all that this camera system is also fantastic basically something similar to what we see in land rovers known as a clear sight camera physical buttons for the air conditioning air conditioning is an absolute chiller let me shut that there's a storage space here there's a 12 volt charging socket there's a 230 volt ac charging port here to charge your laptops there's a usb two usbs actually one connects to apple carplay as well as android auto and it has hdmi as well so you can connect your xbox and playstation and then use these screens to actually play a game okay you've got three compartments here but you can actually remove this and you can change the position as you wish of the compartment size how nice is this so good amount of storage here electric parking brake this one is the one auto hold function drive mode normal and sport those are the only two drive modes one pedal driving drive neutral reverse and parking so these are actually the buttons for the drive modes basically it doesn't have gears obviously and there is this storage space here along with a cup holder as well so it's a very practical car in that regard now this is the screen which is fantastic which means that i have to actually get into reverse you can see this is the reverse parking i have actually got into reverse yeah no the car is not on is it on okay let's just turn it on now it is on you can't really hear the car at all that's how silent this is here i have turned on the camera system 360 degree camera here you've got multiple views as well and then obviously it has got guidelines too so camera system is just fantastic let me get out of reverse and there it also changes the camera view fantastic okay now thing is this screen has so many things now like it has got personal assistants wherein i can say okay honda honda personal assistant does not have a data connection please try again in an area with better reception okay i'm sorry basically what has happened now the geo plan is expired of this particular car here's an ev menu which shows you ev data like how much battery and how much charge is there but you know what there's a lot of stuff which you can go through but my personal okay there you can see it has safety configuration showing you all the adas functions collision mitigation brake system road departure mitigation blind spot information low speed brake control all that it's got traction control and what not but honestly the most funky bit is getting into the app so i'm just going to get into the all apps function and it has something known as aquarium this is the aquarium this is a bit slow this screen it takes some time to respond 
So it's not the fastest, it doesn't have the best graphics either, but this is the aquarium. I can actually feed the fish here. Look at this. Okay, I'll just show you. I press this, there's some food which pops up and then the fish actually runs. Now I can configure a lot of these things. So I can go here and decide how I want the fish size to be, how many fishes I want, what is the background I want for the same and I can change all this. This is so funky and time pass. This is like a toy. Yeah, honestly, this is a toy. Very cool, isn't that? Now, the thing is that uh, overall quality levels are also pretty nice and fantastic. And this screen is also pretty awesome. It's very easy to browse through this, similar to other Honda cars in India. So I can just go through a lot of menus, just pressing this button. Yeah, so you get all the details, but I don't know why they did not give it a 12.3 inch screen when considering that in India, uh, like rather the side ones are 12.3. So this should also have been 12.3. Let me quickly go through a few things and yeah, Honda sensing and all that is there. Look at that. The Honda E also gets ambient lighting. It gets paddles for region. You can change the region force, of course. Let's play an audio right away. Audio quality is actually decent. Now the thing is, this windscreen actually gets de-icer function, which basically when it snows, heats the windscreen similar to what it does on the rear defogger. But rear defogger has this design element which is not there on the front windscreen. Otherwise, you'll not be able to see what's happening at the front. A regular front defogger actually works with the air conditioning blower. Here, this thing is actually having a heating panel which heats it to de-ice it, of course. Now it's obviously got connected car tech, which helps you actually do schedule charging and then also preheat the car to roll down the windows and all that. Now let's get out of this vehicle. So the thing is, it's raining a bit, but no worries with the cameras because it has got water repellent coating. And this is not the first Honda car, which is electric. The first Honda car was actually the EV Plus, which was launched in 1997. And that car was way ahead of its time. So it really did not work. By the way, this is the second most expensive Honda car here in the UK. The most expensive Honda car happens to be obviously the CRV, but there was a subsidy of around 3000 pounds on this car, which got reduced to two and a half thousand pounds. And now there is no subsidy at all. Yeah, that's what happens. They lower you in and then they keep reducing the subsidy. And finally, there is no subsidy. I'm just walking around to show you this car looks absolutely beautiful. It actually has an aero design body for better aerodynamic efficiency, of course, to improve the range. Did you notice there is no antenna here? Yeah, where is the freaking antenna for the radio? Well, they have got a glass antenna. I kid you not. The antenna is placed here in the C-pillar. It's a glass antenna. How futuristic is this? Honda, you have absolutely hit the ball out of the park with this car in terms of all the tech that you offer. Here you can see the lights are so nice. They have this welcome feature. When you come near the car, obviously the lights blink and all that stuff. So I kind of love the Honda E for this whole tech which Honda has managed, which is amazing, honestly. Really makes it look uber cool. Let's do one thing. Let's start driving right away. All right, we are all set to go turning on the car. Oh, there's this Honda welcome which happens. And uh, straight away we get into drive mode, handbrake down. Let's get into sport mode as well. And that's about it. So it's showing me the power flow, the map there, which is quite interesting. Okay, straight away onto the throttle. Acceleration is very brisk. In fact, it's very smooth. It doesn't give you that kick in the pants feel which you would expect from electric cars. So Honda has actually gone for a very linear power delivery here. But get rid of the throttle and there's that immediate response because obviously electric motor produces all that torque right from zero RPM. In fact, this happens because it is producing 15 Newton meters of torque, which is considerable. Now this is the advanced variant which produces 154 PS of power. There's a lower variant with 136 PS of power. Let's actually activate one pedal driving there. You can see, so I'm going to accelerate a bit and then I'm going to let go of the throttle. There, I have let go of the throttle and it is obviously reducing the speed. And will it come to a halt? Yeah, it actually comes to a halt with one pedal driving maximum region. Now we're going to take a quick U-turn. So let's see how is the turning radius of this car because it is supposed to be very low. In fact, turning, oh my God, this is insanely crazy turning radius. But you know, I'll have, still have to take a reverse. The thing is, this has a turning radius of 4.3 meters, which is as good as the London cab, which has one of the best turning radiuses. The reason is they have actually placed the motor at the rear axle and even the power is channeled to the rear wheel. This is a rear wheel drive vehicle, mainly for two reasons. One is to prevent torque steer and the other is for having better maneuverability, thanks to the fact that the front wheels are not having to power. That's the reason why with the front wheel not putting down that power, there's no torque steer and then it just has such an amazing turning radius. In fact, here onto the throttle, 
I let go of it. Immediate regen happens. So since nobody's around here, I am just going to go left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator, revving the motor. There's no motor, and off we go. Oh, sounds really nice. Picks up pace very briskly. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour comes up in 8.3 seconds. In fact, it takes around 0.7 seconds longer for the 136 PS version of this particular car. Thing is, it runs a 35.5 kilowatt hour battery pack with 192 cells. It's a liquid cooled battery pack. And the result is a range of 219 kilometers on 16 inch wheels. We are running on 16 inch wheels, which is better for ride, of course, or 210 kilometers on 17 inch wheels. Overall performance is good. The only thing is I find the range to be on the lower side because in the real world, you will get somewhere around 170 to 180 kilometers. Steering is light. The car feels nimble in spite of the weight, which is 15, 30 kgs. You don't feel that weight at all because the acceleration is brisk and obviously low center of gravity, giving it great handling. The suspension is obviously on the stiffer side, but you do not really feel that stiffness somehow because it is just so well calibrated. It gets independent suspension all around and that really helps as well. We are going to head that way. That's it, right? Yeah. All right. You can see the steering is actually quite nice. Honda obviously does very good steering wheel, so there's never an issue in that regard. Thing is that the price is on the higher side and the range is on the lower side, comparatively. Now, this one is costing around, say, around 35 lakh rupees or 36,000 pounds, somewhere around that, with a range which is low when compared to other options. In fact, Honda knows that this is a car very few people will buy, people who really want the tech, because it really shines on the tech front. That's the reason this car is going to be sold in the UK, it's going to be sold in Europe, it's going to be sold in Japan, but it's not going to be sold in the US or other Asian countries at all. The camera. Okay, okay, yeah, all right. So, onto the throttle. Yeah, that response is quite immediate. That's the real advantage of an electric vehicle, which brings me to the charging time of this vehicle. So basically, if you use a 50 kilowatt DC fast charger, which is plenty in the UK, you can go from zero to 80% charge in just 31 minutes. Otherwise, when you charge it with the 11 kilowatt, around 11 kilowatt AC charger, that will take around 4.1 hours. But if you use the three pin socket at your house, it's going to take 18.8 hours. The real reason why Honda did not want to plonk a bigger battery pack in this was weight, of course, because that would obviously increase the weight of the car and then that will affect the range as well. However, the funny thing is that the Mini Electric actually has a bigger battery, yet it weighs lesser and then obviously it has a bigger or rather longer range as well. Overall, I find it very convenient to drive this car because of the small size and it's just so nimble, agile as well. Somehow they've got the handling spot on with this vehicle and although the ride is on the stiffer side, once you speed up, it becomes a bit better. So yes, as you put on the pace, the ride just improves. So at motorway speed, it's fantastic. Top speed, like I was telling you before, you should do around 170 kilometers per hour, but that's not the speed you would be driving at because then obviously it's all about conserving the battery and not really going out of charge considering the battery pack is on the smaller side and Honda has not really made this car to go on motorways it's more about driving this in the city and that is a place where it really excels so it's got three modes for regen as well with the paddles i can change it now i've made it to the least regeneration right now and uh, you can clearly see that when i lift off the throttle it does not end up reducing the speed as much so here around the corner being a rear wheel drive vehicle you can get hard into the throttle it will do a bit of okay, we have 70 miles now to go speed limit performance is just effortless it's very effortless it picks up the pace in no time at all and that is the beauty of this honda e it's quite quick and it's a good thing that honda has actually decided to make something very different from the norm this is a car which feels very futuristic it's so tech loaded and then it has got a lot of adas functions like you know adaptive high beam lane keep assist forward collision warning automatic emergency braking all of that has been put inside these mirrors take some time getting used to obviously you can see the body of the vehicle but you know what you're just so used to looking outside the car for the same but the clarity of the camera is just next level it's so clear you can very easily see what is there in your rear view mirror only thing is people tend to be much closer than they really are so you at times feel someone is tailgating you when they really aren't okay now i'm just going to do one thing i'm just going to increase the regen right now with the left paddle i can do it on level three and as soon as i lift off the throttle it reduces speed much faster so that also helps but i'm not sure how much does it add to the battery pack here you could see the blind spot assist as well so you're going to come into the right lane and the right most lane actually onto the throttle here we are at 70 miles Actually, the road noise is well contained. I don't even hear much wind noise. Obviously, there's no mirror noise because there are no outside rear view mirrors as such. So basically, what they have done is they have done fantastic insulation. Are we going to take an exit here? Yeah. This one. This one. Okay. Oh, 
okay so this brings me to a nice series of corners this car has that maturity to it it just doesn't drive like a small car it drives with a car which a lot of maturity to it somehow it just feels very advanced it doesn't feel like a small car in the way it drives so honda has done a fantastic job in that regard so it is very tech loaded decently quick from 0 to 100 km per hour in 8.3 seconds is actually fast enough but the only thing is that the range is not that big otherwise it's pretty flawless it's just small it doesn't have a very practical rear seat as such but very impressive i'm very impressed by this honda i never expected it to be so good in fact this car was never on my radar either i was like okay fine the honda is launched an electric car it will be just another electric car this is a very desirable electric car and this is a car you would really love because it turns a lot of attention everybody turns around to look at it as well look at this blind spot monitor working at the moment let's just turn this into that camera function because since there are cameras everywhere why not do this as well honestly when i first time i drove the car with such a camera it took some time getting used to and with this also the system is taking some time getting used to but once you get used to it you're going to love it the level of clarity from the cameras is unbelievable and you know why because this car has such a wide screen multiple screens okay there i let my hand off the steering wheel it's actually showing me a warning there telling me no you should not be doing that so that's also kind of cool so the thing is that because there's so many screens this dashboard looks very wide and somehow does not give you the small car vibes at all and even the suspension even the level of grip and everything just doesn't make you feel like you're driving a small car it has that sense of maturity and sense of big car feel somehow which is unbelievable something i never really expected out of a honda e because it's actually a chintu mintu car but doesn't really feel like one unbelievable really very nice and uh, this instrument cluster could be a lot more loaded it's very plain and simple with too many things happening here somehow because honda has decided not to give it like crazy acceleration and linear pull in the city you feel very comfortable it's not like you accidentally get onto the throttle and the car will just rush away no it does not happen that way probably they have done it to conserve the energy consumption as well oh look at that truck wheel spinning all the way <laughs> <laughs> somehow gives me that vibe of a honda formula 1 car when you push it maybe because uh, that also has electric assist i kind of feel that sound coming from that electric motor when you're getting bored in traffic this is what exactly you do that's a revolutionary feature because you know what you're being so constructive that when you come to a halt you actually stop and feed the fishes and it's saying it's not available when the vehicle is in motion that's a bit of a bummer thing is that uh, steering wheel is so good somehow okay there is some amount of body roll because of the weight 15 30 kg but you don't feel that weight because of the low center of gravity so overall it's a very nice car to drive very attractive amazing design and then lot of features which make you want one this has the same level of coolness as say a mahindra thar or a suzuki jimny or something of that sort and that's the reason why people are actually going ahead and buying this car in spite of the higher price and lower range fantastic in fact this car is so desirable it has actually won multiple awards as well for i think the design as well as the tech and what not let me see if i can turn on the camera no it does not display the camera so there's no lane watch in this car unfortunately so guys this is my vlog of the honda e i really like it i really want one as well but i'm not much of a electric person because even though this car is super cool it's like a computer on wheels just doesn't have the soul of an ice powered car because yeah you know what electric motor has a typical characteristic initial grunt is very nice pulls strongly because of all that torque coming from 0 rpm and then it dies out and then there's that electric whine kind of feels like a appliance but a very fun geeky nerdy one if you like this vlog make sure to give the thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video real soon and you know what is the funniest thing i'm going to be doing today well i am actually going to go to a fuel pump and just to have a look at the faces of other people who are spending money 173 pence on filling up which is like 1.73 pounds approximately 160 rupees because i don't have to do that and yeah on that bombshell it's time to end bye bye so where do we fuel up <laughs> <laughs>